NASPO, has been publishing the top 10 priorities for state procurement since 2015. This resource is more than a list. It includes procurement strategies and focus areas identified collectively by CPOs in 50 states and the District of Columbia. NASPO uses the top 10 priorities to guide the association program development and collaborate with strategic partners and other external stakeholders. NASPO members can use it as a conversation tool and driver for change with their governors and legislators about the strategic role of central procurement and how it can create value for stakeholders in their state. Continuous improvement is about improving processes, eliminating inefficiencies, and getting rid of wasteful activities or time-consuming steps in the procurement cycle. It's about taking a critical look at your process, finding gaps and opportunities for improvement, and for procurement office, it also means visiting with customer agencies, getting feedback from them, and listening to their needs. So, to find out more, we asked our members, has your office implemented any continuous improvement strategies? Yes, we certainly have. Continuous improvement is a normal part of our operation, and again, timeliness of the procurement cycle is something that's really, you know, really important to our customers. So we use 40x methodology, a Covey pro uh, process. We also use Lean and Six Sigma in order to improve our continually improve our processes, develop. Uh, meaningful metrics to really gauge, you know, establish baselines and measure improvement. I would say the whole of our organization in procurement, uh, we're all focused on continual improvement and looking at processes and finding efficiencies. So uh, it's typically those buyers who are on the front line um, that are very much in touch with where those efficiencies can be. Has your office implemented any continuous improvement strategies? Our government is going through a major transformation process where, in general, our governor wants to achieve uh, efficiencies and savings through streamlining. Um, and we have uh, consolidated a lot of our agencies into fewer and much larger agencies so that we can streamline a lot of those processes. Um, and that focus spills over to procurement because they see procurement as being one of the greater opportunities where we can find those efficiencies and savings. Our senior leadership in our department really focus on continuous improvement as part of our customer service initiative and really to improve how, you know, in our case, the procurement cycle. Can we deliver those services quicker? Uh, can we be more efficient? Can we be user friendly? Are our processes so onerous that agencies really look for ways to go around processes? So those are things we've got to continually work. So we have user groups that are a valuable tool to give us feedback on processes. We invite our customers to participate in these process improvement projects to get, you know, get their input and let them help us solve problems. For more information, please visit www.naspo.org and be on the lookout for the 2020 Top 10 Priorities for State Procurement.